Um, I mean, we, it was it was a, a great moment. I think you know we've been through a lot. We had um, this four years has been a, a, a wild ride, and um, you know we was just talking. You know, that he's proud of me. He's proud of us. He's proud of what we did. And um, you know this is gonna be the first time we're not playing uh, the first day in the Big Ten tournament. You know, this is the most wins I've ever had. And um, you know he's just saying that he's proud proud of everybody. And uh, you know I, I feel the same way. I couldn't be more proud of. My teammates and, and my coaches. What are those? I'm sorry. What do those things mean to you? Not having to play on the first day, the most wins that the team has had in the Big Ten under not just you but Pat. In general. Um, I mean, it shows uh, you know the hard work that we've put in. Um, you know, we've had a, a lot of long days, and um, you know it, it shows. And um, you know, I think everybody, top to bottom, you know, we've done a great job, and, and you know, we, we come in every day, and, and we have a great attitude, and we we keep working no matter what. And we keep on throwing those punches that we've been throwing all year. How'd you guys feel in that second overtime, just leg wise and energy wise? Oh, we felt great. It started with Josh Reeves. You know, he brings the energy. He gets in the passing lanes. He gets deflections, and that gets us going. So, um, you know, when we start out like that, you know, we we definitely put the pressure on. Chef, what were you looking for on the final play in regulation to? Uh, send it into overtime there. Uh, oh, I was trying to give the ball to the big fella. <laughs> but they, you know, they fronted him, so I just back cut. And I finished the layup, missed the foul shot. How did you kind of, you put that behind yourself pretty quickly there? And came through with a big three in the first overtime. How did you kind of respond from the mystery throw? Uh, my coaches and my teammates, you know, they told me to, you know, get over and power clap. And I move on. That's that's our thing. We power clap. We move on, and it works. You know, it works for everybody. So uh, that's our little mantra. That's what we do, and it works. Anything else for these guys? When they made their comeback, what were they doing differently? Um, you know, uh, they I think they just played hard. You know, they're uh, they're a great team. Um, uh, they have great players. You know, they can shoot. They can do a little bit of everything. And I um, mean, you know, I just think they did a good job. Of, um, you know, picking their energy up. You know, they're playing a little harder than us. And um, you know they, they responded very well, and you know it's a great team. What made the difference for you guys in the overtimes? Um, I mean I'll give a credit to our uh, sp- uh, strength and conditioning coach uh, Spado, because uh, I think we we had we had fresh legs for the most part, and um, you know I just think that every huddle we had was um, you know was positive, and uh, that was the difference. You know we could have. We could have put our heads down when Chet missed his free throw or, you know, if somebody turned the ball over or anything. You know, we, we didn't put our heads down. We, we stayed together and we stick together through everything.